Hey guys, it's Joost Rijmakers from Level Up. In today's movie, I will give you three tips how to improve your straight punches. The first will be right form, the second will be right tension, and the third will be hitting targets. So let's go! Like I said in the intro, in this movie we're gonna uh, do some nice uh, jab cross of uh, punches and what are the most common mistakes uh, which people make when they are learning these punches. One of the biggest mistakes I see is that people turn their elbow outside and then punch. So it's more of a like this motion instead of a go in front motion. Um, I'll show you on a bob why it's bad. When I make a direct punch to the nose, boom, it's a straight punch. When you tend to do it more like this and the timing is off, you get more of a back fist. A back fist isn't a bad thing, only it's not a straight punch. If I want to make a one, two, straight punch on the face, they need to go straight in, straight out, straight in, straight out. Not because when you go faster, you will clash with your arms together and it's not good. How can we fix this problem? Well, it's pretty simple, but we need to go back to the basics. When you are st starting to work out and you want to have your jab cross uh, in a good form, first of all, make sure your elbows are pointing down. So we are in our guard, of course, you can have a bit of a more open guard, but you do not want to have your elbows too far to the outside. When you start punching, you still want to have your elbows down. So, I do not do like one, two. A lot of people tend to turn their arms up and then start punching. Not good. We want them down. Then you throw your shoulder in front. So you twist the body, your hip blasts in front, one. Then you throw your shoulder in front and then your arm from your guard follows and punches. My elbow is down, 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 now it starts stretching and now I turn it. So you never go here. So this line, if I would make an imaginary line here, just like through my body, my elbow never crosses the line by doing this. I'll show you on a target later on in the movie uh, why, why that's important. So breaking down a punch from the side. I am standing in my regular fighting stance, 50-50 on each leg, my weight is divided. I have my elbows down so I can block kicks and punches to my stomach. I can close up my guard when direct attacks are coming. And now I just give a one, a jab, I step with my left feet in front, twist my hip and my shoulder and throw it out. My, sho my shoulder protects my chin and my other hand protects my head. I pull it back in a straight line and, it's, and I'm back. Then you really want to pull your punches back. So it's not pushing and then go back, pushing and then go back. No, it's a little one, two. So you one, two, and you keep your elbows down, 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 twist and back to your starting position. So the rotation of your body is really important. So if I make it a one, two, I go step. Now my right feet steps a bit with to my left feet, I twist my hip, throw my shoulder in front, and I throw my jab, oh, across, sorry. Left side protects my head, shoulder protects my chin. Now I'm a bit too far in front, so the too much weight is on my front feet. You want to divide it 50-50. So I go one, two, one, two, one, two, and pull your punches. So you go back as fast as you can to protect your head again. So when I give a jab and somebody wants to hook, I can cover up immediately. So the basics of a one-two are you step in front with your left feet, twist your hip, throw your shoulder and then your hand follows. Then pull it back in a straight line and your right is the same. You twist your right hip, throw your shoulder, elbow stays down, go in front, and go back. That's the right form of punching, but there are a few more tips I can give you to even increase your speed and power. So let's go to the next part. Okay guys, the second tip I want to give you is having the right tension in your muscles. So um, when I'm punching, 
um, not, I'm not tensed up all the time, so I do not start punching like really tensed up and start punching because then you really get slow and not fluid and you won't hit hard. Of course you cannot uh, punch relaxed because then you will hurt your hand. So the timing is when you punch everything is kind of relaxed and you throw it and at the moment of impact you squeeze your fist and tense up. So you twist, boom. Now I tense up, everything is tightened and then I pull back again and I'm relaxed again. So you go one, two, one, two. Uh, it's a bit more hard in the air of course because now you can cheat and uh, keep it kind of relaxed but you want to tense up. So if I'm standing over here and um, I throw my punch it goes and I want to not tighten up and do it like this because you are too slow then. Well, we are nice relaxed, we have, you have your guard up and when I punch I throw Relaxed, relaxed, relaxed. At the last moment, you tense up and you hit the target and pull back. So when we do it fast, it's us. There you go. Us. Throw your hip in. Your hip goes. Your shoulder throws your sh your fist, like I told you before in the movie. Ah. And at the last moment, you squeeze your hand and you want. If I show it on on the side of the bar, if I punch, I don't want to stop here. I want to stop here, so like 10 centimeters into his face. So you don't do it like this, but you go push a bit further. Not push, but because then I'm pushing. No, you want to pull your punch as fast as you can. But there you go. Squeeze your hand at the moment of impact. Make sure you use good form. And now we can start developing more power because your technique is good, your form is good, your tension is good. Now we can start hitting harder stuff like a heavy bag or a bob. Um, when you don't use good form and you hit something heavy, you will hurt your wrist, your muscles need to get used to the impact so uh, you will feel it. But when you start going light and after a while you just start hitting harder and harder, you can uh, hit mitts, heavy bags, bobs, without hurting your hands. So I like to train without gloves and with gloves. So just to check if your, uh, uh, your targets and your form is good, so you won't hurt your wrist or fingers. So um, last part of the movie, hitting targets, let's go. Okay guys, and last part is building enough strength in your wrist so you can, uh, hit harder. Um, I was talking only about straight punches, of course for all your hooks and your uppercuts it's all the same. Uh, I told you in a different movie, you always want to have a straight line with your uh, wrist and your fist. If, if, if it's like this or like this, it doesn't matter, but you want to have it straight so you cannot bend your wrist. That's really important. So you want to have a bit strong wrists. How do you get strong wrists? By pushing up on your knuckles you get really nice strength in your arms by, pull, by just working on your grip strength so pulling yourself up or uh, maybe do some dumbbell work just to have strong wrists after that great good technique when striking and just improve with striking and start striking harder now we were talking about two straight punches a left turning your hip step in then turn you pull it back Turn your right hip in and go there. Now, of course the head of Bob is not really uh, a heavy target to hit, so I'll hit the chest. So the impact on my uh, wrist is a bit more, is a bit more. So, when I punch, one, two, and we go there. So you make sure you twist in that body, make an extension of your arm, so don't pull it up when you're here, so it's still uh, bent. No, you want it in a straight line. Then punch, punch. It comes from your body, so don't do it like this. You won't hit as hard as when you step in and twist. Boom, there you go. Step in and twist, here we go. Make sure your elbow stays down as long as possible. Then turn in, twist, and hit. Then when you made an impact, you pull it back in a straight line to your guard. Start hitting, not too hard, but make sure your wrist don't bend. One, two, 
one, two, don't push, don't push, but pull your punches so it goes fast, in and out, bam bam, here you go, one, two, one, two, after you get used to the straight punches, you can implement your hooks, your uppercuts, all that kind of punches, but make sure this is in one straight line. These were my three tips how to improve your straight punches. First, focus on technique. Second, focus on muscle tension. And third, start building up wrist strength and uh, that kind of neat stuff. So your punches will get stronger and better and faster. I really hope you like this movie. If you did, please leave a, a notification, subscribe to my channel or share this video. It would help out a lot and I hope to see you next week.